Being an independent musician is not an easy thing at all. You're an entrepreneur and in charge of your own business. It can get to be quite a lot being the CEO and the musician. So in this video, I'm gonna share a special super secret that will help you manage your time as both the artist and a small business owner. So let's blast off and get started. Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better songwriter. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, hmm, okay, miss out, that's fine. I don't have feelings. No, seriously, I don't, I'm not a real person. What? Okay, so being an independent pop musician, I sometimes struggle to balance the artist side of things and the business side of things. Sometimes it feels like I'm two different people. It also gets overwhelming trying to do so much by myself. I mean, between writing, recording, managing, website design, social media, distribution oversight, etc. It gets to be a lot. However, I've also learned that there's a couple things you can do to help ease the insanity. One thing in particular has changed my business completely. It's reshaped my thinking, my artistry, and my marketing and promo strategies as a whole. And it's seemingly very simple, except it's not. And that is working in seasons. First of all, what do I mean by that? So working in seasons is kind of like what it sounds, where you focus in on certain aspects of your career throughout different times of the year. That when put all together helps to create a bigger picture and serves to advance your career in the long run. Think about it right now. When do you focus on business? When do you focus on promo stuff? When do you focus on making new music? Working in seasons takes quite a bit of organization, some self-awareness, and self-control. It can be hard, but once you master it, it's a lot of fun. So here's how my typical year goes. Fall is all about writing new music. It's the fun part. I get to mess around in logic more. I get to write lyrics and all that fun stuff. Winter is all about office work or taking classes, goal setting, numbers, the analytical stuff. Spring is all about recording and putting everything together. And summer is usually about visuals and scheduling and coming up with concept art, all that stuff. Now, this is not rigid by any means and changes quite a bit depending on what project I'm working on. But it is a good rough outline of how a typical year of mine works. One of the most frustrating things when not releasing music during periods of downtime, aka not promoting anything, is the pressure of feeling like you have to release something right now or what you're working on won't be relevant by the time it's released. Well, working in seasons has helped alleviate so much of that pressure. I'm more focused on my projects, my artist time, is more fun because I'm not really focused on what everyone else is doing and I'm having less hiccups along the way because I'm more prepared for it. So doing this can help you the same way. So in order to work in seasons, you need to know yourself a little bit. When are you most creative? When are you least creative? How organized are you? Are you good at going with the flow? This isn't a test. I'm just trying to help you figure out what's right for you. Working in seasons also requires a bit of forethought as well. You kinda always need to know what's coming down the pipeline, but you don't have to be too rigid either. For example, every January, I create one to three big goals for the year for myself, and the only time limit I put on it is by December 31st of that year. I've said this in previous videos, but my only goals for 2018 were pretty much be more myself online, which, check, and finish my AP, which, Check. So even though I didn't release any new music this year, I still feel really accomplished. And of course, as the year ticks on, then you make smaller goals for yourself and just try to keep yourself on track. Now, does this mean I don't write any new music outside of Autumn at all? No. I always allow myself to write when inspiration strikes. You don't wanna clip your own wings, dude. Does this also mean I only do back-end analytical stuff in the winter? No, you've gotta be able to fluctuate. It's all about focus. Focusing on certain aspects of your career during certain times of the year will help to advance your career in the long run and make you feel less left behind. So if you're willing to iron out some details ahead of time and hone in your focus, trust me, your next launch will be unstoppable. So that is working in seasons. Question of the video, what season of your career are you in? Leave me a comment below letting me know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller and I will see you next time. Matane!